Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Hi friends, it's Kari here. I just wanted to remind you that if you are one of my biggest fans of Heidi, Cherry and Veya stories, don't forget to talk to your parents or your guardians to see if they'll let you join the cat club. Go to the link down below that says patron and you'll find all the information that you need to know. By joining the cat club, you automatically get three exclusive Heidi, Cherry and Veya stories every month that no one else gets. Only cat club members get them. So they're not here on YouTube or Insight Timer on my podcast channel. If you can join, I'll see you there every month on the 7th of the month for your three exclusive stories. Namaste, my little friends. Enjoy your meditation story. Are you ready to meditate with Cory? Are you ready to be very, very still? And quiet so that you can listen to the story, let your body relax and let your mind slow down for the story. Heidi, Cherry and Vea were over at their friend's house, truly Sadie and Miles. They were playing Monopoly. They liked to play ball games with those guys. On this particular evening, the mood was a little bit low, just a little bit quiet. The kids were not so happy. The game was fun, but it wasn't really fun like it normally is. And the cats could tell something was wrong. Heidi said to Truly, What's wrong? You guys are really quiet tonight. Is everything okay? Truly said, Yes and no, but not really. What is it? said Heidi. Sadie said, Dad's going away. He has to go to California to fight the fires. And we're really worried about him. And we don't want him to go away. Oh, said Heidi. I see. Cherry said, Oh no. Oh, that's not, that's not nice, is it? Oh, I can totally get why you guys are quiet. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit scary. You know, you know, those fires, they're all over the place, aren't they? And, and it happens so often. And, you know, with your dad being a firefighter and all, it's like, how do you not get scared? How do you not get scared when your dad goes to work and you know he's going to be fighting big, 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 scary fires? And, you know, you know, I mean, you know, I don't think, I don't think I'd be able to, I don't think I'd be able to cope, guys. I'm not surprised you guys are quiet. I would be like, oh, I'm so stressed. Oh, I'm so stressed. I'm so stressed. Every single day my dad went to work, I'd be like, oh, I'm so stressed. And everybody would be like, Cherry, why are you stressed? And I'd be like, my dad, my dad's gone to work. You know, I'd be, I think I'd be a bit dramatic about it, to be honest with you. I'd be like, my dad's a firefighter and I'm so stressed. But, you know, there is lots of other people in the world that do scary jobs, isn't there? Like, you know, I have this one friend and her daddy's a Navy SEAL. And he goes out to work and does, like, scary things all the time, too. And then I have this other friend where her mummy's a firefighter. And she goes out to work and does scary things as well. I mean, it's just probably, like, part of what they sign up for. And if you think about it, I bet they're really, 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 really awesome. And I bet they're really trained. I bet it takes lots and lots of trainings to be a firefighter and a Navy SEAL, 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 don't you think? Like, how many years would they have to train to be able to do something like that? Because they're not just going to go, oh, you did well in college, come to this school, yeah, next week you're going to be a firefighter. No, they're not, are they? They're going to say, you have to do all this training, all this intense training, and you have to be so brave. And I would imagine like your dad and my other friend's dad and my other friend's mummy, that they're kind of like special kind of people. You know, 
like really brave people inside or people that just want to help other people like there's so many people in the world that want to help people there's nurses there's doctors there's therapists what else there's there's um there's shop assistants there's uh what else you know what would we be what would the world be without without waitresses we'd have to get our own food That'd be darn boring, wouldn't it? What's the point in going out and saying, oh, I'm going to go out for a treat and have me dinner? And then you have to get it yourself. So waitresses, waitresses are so kind. Yeah, I think I think when I grow up, though, I'm going to be like a firefighter like your dad, guys, because I like your dad. He's really nice and he's really, really, really caring. And obviously he's really, really, really brave. But getting back to your point, I bet you are a bit worried. Very said. Mm. Me does this thing when I'm worried. I imagine that I see the colour gold because gold is a very healing colour and very, very protective. And when I wear my gold princess dresses and my gold tiara and my gold shoes and my gold gloves, I always feel so, so safe. And, and there's this thing that you can do you can pretend or imagine using your mind that the person that you love when they go anywhere, like on a plane or in a car or like your dad going to the fires, you can pretend that somehow he's got gold around him, like a magical shield that's keeping him safe. And every time you think of dad, you can imagine him in gold. Cherry said, you know what? I have an idea. I have this string. It's gold. It's gold string that I got. And I used it one time when I was trying to learn embroidery. Now that's another story. I could have thrown that blooming embroidery ring through the window. It was so annoying. Who in the right mind can sit quietly and so? Anyway, I'd really like to be able to do that. But I couldn't do it. But I have this gold string. I'll bring it over tomorrow. And you know what you can do? You can tie a piece of gold string around your dad's wrist. It doesn't matter which wrist, his left wrist or his right wrist. Like a little bracelet, you know, like a little, like a guy bracelet. And, you know, like, um, what is it? Those red ones. You know, some people wear red ones, like just a red piece of string. I think it's something to do with the cabana. Yeah, the cabana. Heidi said, you mean the Kabbalah? Yeah, that's what I mean, the Kabbalah. Yeah, anyway, they wear a red one, remember? And it's something to do with the religion. This is nothing like that, but it is. It's a bit. Right, guys, listen. This is what we do. This is what we do. Instead of playing Monopoly, we'll do something much more important with our time. Everybody, everybody, I'm going to go home. I'll not be long because I don't live that far. And then I'll be back. And when I come back in a minute, I'm going to bring me string. All right, I'm off. Bye. Love you. Cherry ran through the door. She was right. It took her about five minutes to get home and come back. When she came back, she was holding a big ball of golden string and a pair of scissors. This is our job. This is what we're going to do. I say we make golden string bracelets for all our dad's friends and dad, of course. You know, your dad. We'll make him one because, you know, guys, they have kind of big. She was looking down at a paw. A paw was obviously a lot smaller than a man-sized wrist. I don't know how we're going to measure it. We're going to have to guesstimate. Heidi's really good at that kind of stuff. She's very mathematical, her brain and everything. She's going to look at it and look at the size and think, okay, yeah, that's going to fit around an average man or woman, lady fighter's wrist. And we can make like 20 of them so that we have like everyone of his friends protected too because then if he's protected around his friends they're protected then there's even more protection double whammy protection triple triple whammy protection in our case like 20 whammy protection 21 whammy protection around dad the firefighter right everybody agreed it was a really good idea they all sat down with a pair of scissors and their gold string cut in sizes of guesstimating what size people's wrists would be so that they could tie them around their wrists and have a gold protective shield. And every time they looked at the wrist, the firefighters would have a reminder that they were being kept safe. And they would also think about everyone that loved them at home. And that would help them to be brave, very, very brave. 
It took them a while to make all of the wrist bracelets, but they did it. Truly, Sadie and Miles cheered up a little bit. They at least felt like they were doing something to help their dad. Cherry said, Now also, we have something else to talk about. Let's talk about the fact that your dad's going away for two weeks. Two weeks without your dad? What are you going to do? The kids looked at each other. We don't know. We're going to miss him. Of course you are. Of course you're going to miss him. You know, you know, that friend with the Navy SEAL, Daddy, that I was telling you about. Oh, poor thing. Her daddy goes away for six months sometimes. And sometimes, even, even a year. Can you imagine your daddy being employed? Employed? Heidi said, deployed. It means you've gone away when you're deployed. Yeah, that. Can you imagine your daddy going away, deployed? For a year. This is two weeks, guys. Two weeks will go so fast. And if you're thinking about your dad every day with his golden bracelet on, being safe and protected from the rest of the the fires and all the winds and the smoke and everything, if you're thinking about him every time you think about him, see him with his golden bracelet on and he's safe, surrounded by his, his friends with the golden bracelets on and they're all protecting each other. It's going to go so fast, I promise. And every day, you can think of something that could... Oh, I know what, I've got a really good idea. You could write down a calendar. A calendar, right, that has two weeks on it. Monday to Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Maybe you can do it Saturday and Sunday. Or maybe you can have Saturday and Sunday as a, a day off. It's up to you guys. So you can do it for five days a week or seven days a week. But anyway, we have 14 days on the calendar, right? And what you do is each day you think about something that you could do for the planet. Like something really simple like don't use a plastic straw that day or don't buy plastic straws ever again. Or the next day you could do like a beach cleanup or you could just go to your local park and say clean up day and you could have even your friends you could tell your friends about it <gasps> you know what you could do you could do it as a school project you could say okay for two weeks we're going to save the planet because you know what you're going to be helping the firefighters because if you're helping the firefighters by doing things that protect the earth in a different way then they're doing their job as well then it's it's like you're doing the same thing as your dad you're being a superhero just like your dad, but you're doing it in your way, cleaning the park, you're not buying plastic if you can help it, you're, you're saying no to plastic bags and just using, you, 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 you know, those, those, what are they? Heidi said, the cloth bags, the ones that are made from material, you mean? Yeah, that's what I mean. Heidi said, this is a really good idea, Cherry. I know. No, it's great. I think it's because I were playing Monopoly. I've got so smart. Anyway, yeah. So every day you think of something that you could do and it doesn't have to be crazy. You could just say like, mm, today I'm going to pick the weeds from the garden because that would help dad too because then he doesn't have to do it when he comes back. Tomorrow I'm going to, 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 I'm going to. Oh, I don't know. I've gone a bit dry. My ideas are running out. But yeah, you know, you could do things like that. Two weeks of every day doing something. And that will also make it fly by. It will fly by, guys. I promise you'll be having so much fun trying to do something every day to help your dad to save the planet. Then, then you'll feel better. Don't you think? Sadie and Miles and Truly all agreed that it was a really good idea and they were definitely going to do it and they were definitely going to tell their friends about it and they could do it if they wanted to and even maybe talk to the teacher about it so it could be like a class project and the whole class could do it and if they wanted to for those two weeks they could all also wear golden string bracelets to remind them of why they're doing what they're doing and to look down at their wrists and see all the firefighters, all the women firefighters, all the man firefighters, every single firefighter all over California and other places in the world. And even if it's not a ginormous fire, even if there's firefighters just doing their regular job every day, which again is superhero stuff. 
they will remember them just by looking down at their wrists. They're keeping them safe in their minds, keeping them safe from the flames, from the buildings on fire, from the forests on fire, from the possible explosions that they deal with. They're keeping them safe in their own way, actively, mentally doing something to help. The kids and the cats played for quite a while that day and kept coming up with new ideas and new solutions so that Miles and Truly and Sadie wouldn't feel so bad about Dad going away. And then eventually the cats went home. They snuggled down on their cat bed. They all had a golden bracelet wrapped around one of their paws. Each one of them, without even talking about it, looked at the golden bracelet and thought about the kid's dad staying safe praying that everything would go well. Maybe we'll have lots of rain and the fires will be helped. They fell fast asleep and slept all night long. The End